Hello guys, welcome back to Twitter Crafting Lab. Trust you are able to learn one or two things in my previous lesson. I really appreciate you all. In this lesson, we will be discussing the select clause. Select clause is one of the fundamental SQL statements. Used to retrieve data from a database, it is the first part of any SQL query that specifies which data you want to work with. Now, let's see some things of it. Now, by for this are the database that actually came with my SQL now. Now, we have the circular, we have the SYS and the word. Now, these are the database. These are the things under the database, actor, address, and so on. Now, if I scroll down now, you can see these are the tables and this view, these top procedures, functions, and all that. Now, if I decide to collapse this back, if I decide to collapse this back and collapse this, now these are the tables under the SYS. Now you can see it now. Now this for the word. Let's see the tables under it. We have the city, country, country language, and so on. Now let's use one of the database. These are the tables. These are the tables now. Let's use one of these database to actually work with our word, with our select clause. Now, I'll be using the circular for the word, for the example. Now, if I click on this now, you can see, now, it has been highlighted, you can see it's bold, and it has been highlighted under the schema. Now, let's use the circular database now. If I bring out my word, my syntax now, that means select. Now, let me use select. Now, if I decide to click on this shift 8 now, now this symbol is a white card that means select all. Now, from which if I decide to say select from, is a white card that means select all column. Now, that's the meaning of this symbol now. Select all column from, let's say, actor. Now, Select from actor. Set to bring my cursor here and execute it here. Or bring my cursor here and use control enter. You can see it now. I try to bring out everything under this word, under this table, which is what? Actor. Under this table now we have the words. We have the we have this column underscore and actor underscore ID, first underscore name last underscore name and the last underscore objects now these are all the columns under the word select sorry under the actor table now if i scroll down now we have to see all the actors id here now i try to just scroll down and see all the actors id you can see now we have 200 actors id these are everything under the word under the table now, I can decide to do under thing. Now, select, let's say, the way it is written there, first name, first underscore name, first underscore name, last name, last underscore name, From actor, from actor table. Now, the control enter. You can see it now. That means I try not to select everything under the actor table. So I try to bring out the word, the first name, last name from the word, from the actor table. These are everything we actually have under the, the word, the first name and the last name. If I show that now, you can see it now. These are all the first name and the last name under the word actors table. But if I try to go back to this now, using the word, this white and this symbol, 
is a white card that means what? Select all columns from what? App source. Now, let me just push this here and let's continue. Now, another thing I'll be doing is I'll be using my select clause along with the what? With the where clause. In the subsequent lesson, we'll be discussing the where clause, but let me just emphasize on it here along with the select clause. SQL, the where clause is used to filter rows based on a condition. It works with the select clause, select statement to return only the data that meets the specified criteria. Now, let's see some examples of that. Now, still on circular database now. Let's select, select. Now, let's select the, we'll be using the city table now. Let's see what we have on the city. Now, we have the city ID, we have city, country ID, and the last update. Now, this is under the city table now. Now, let's go back to our query now. Let's just close this. Oh, let's come back here. Now, select first. Now, sorry. Let's come back here. Let's say we want to get all the cities in the United States now. Let's select city, comma. Since we are not using the, we are not bringing out everything under the city. Let's say country. Let's say country underscore ID. Now from where? From this to city. Where country, let's say where country ID underscore ID. Now it does bring it out for us. Is equals to let's say 103 semicolon. Now let's run this now. Now you can see it now. Now we've actually did all the cities with what in what. United States now with this country ID 103. You can see it now. Now I can just come here, click on enter. Now let me just come here. Let me let me say put this get now. We assume that what 103 is what is the country ID. All the cities in what in United States now I've actually typed it out now all cities in what in United States now we've used our what our select clause along with what with the where clause now let's see another example L let me actually run this as comment find cities cities that start with, with the letter A, letter, letter A. Now, now we bring out our select, select. What do we want to actually select? City. From where? From the table. From the two city now don't forget we actually have city if we look at the table now this is the table we actually have the what a column for city here that's where we actually have what you can actually bring out the cities that start, actually starts with a now we've selected what city from what from city now where this is where we'll be using our where plus where city like now in quote a you put it in quote because it's a text where city like a let me put a semicolon let's run this now control enter you can see it now oh sorry where city like a like a let me put percentage at the back here let's run this shift enter Sorry, control enter. 
Now, it has actually bring out all the cities that actually start with what? It actually start with A. What I actually did here now, if you, can, if you look at what we have here now, we have real city like A. A in the quote. After A is what? We have a percentage here. This means that what out. Now, look at this now. We have A here. Everything starts with A and everything. Everything after the A actually comes what comes out. This is the meaning of this now. now. I'll try another example using this now. Now let's try this now. Let's run this as comments. Let's say cities that end with ball. Cities that end with book. Quote book. Let's put this in quotes. Now, let's select. Let's select our seat. Select. Select city. Sorry. From city. Don't forget. Let me use cap letter to start it from city. We. Where city, where city like, okay, like, is a text string, so we'll put it in quotes, like percentage, bug, in quotes. That means everything after words, everything before. You can see now cities that ends with bug. That means it must everything afterwards. Everything that ends with bug, it must actually bring it out for us. But everything probably that starts with bug now. We are not after that, but we want everything that actually ends with bug. Let me just put a semicolon here. Control enter. You can see now. You can see now Chinese bug. Salzburg and all that. It's actually bring all the cities that actually ends with bug. It's really whereby I put it here now. That means now let's try this now. Let's say let's use port. Port. And at the end, let me put percentage. That means either either this port in the, at the beginning or at the end now let's see what we have now control enter you can see now you can see it can either come at the word at the beginning or at the end so that's when that's the meaning of this percentage at the front and percentage at the back now let's try one more example now let's say get Customer, customers whose last name last name is let's say in code Smith. Now let's see what we have under the customer table now now these are customer table we have customer id store id first name last name email and these are the columns we actually have address underscore id active create date last update all oh. now these are the names we actually have now if i bring my cursor down now you can see it you can see it now now to the last name we have over 500 here. Now, using our customer's table now, let's select select first underscore name. Don't make a mistake. The way it is being written there, first underscore name, comma, since you are still bringing out another thing, last underscore name, last underscore name, comma, Last underscore name. Now, if you still want to bring out more, you can put comma. If not, now let's just continue from 
customers table. Don't forget customers table. And see this is it. Where where last name last underscore name equals um, Smith. Is it a string? Don't forget you put it in quotes. Let me just put a semicolon here. Control enter. That has the last name of what? Of Smith. You can see it now, Mary Smith. So that was how the what? The select clause and the where clause work. Now, in the subsequent lesson, we'll be discussing more on it. Now, that will be all for this lesson. See you in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell. If you find this video very interesting, give us a thumb up and drop a comment under the comment section. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.